There are a thousand ways, but first you have to stop out. Okay, if, if you, it's not about stopping your internal dialogue. It's about using it when, you sh when, it will, when it's worth having. And if any process, I don't care if it's a feeling, a picture, or sounds, when it's out of control, the first thing to do is to make it go faster, then make it go louder, then make it go softer, then make it go slower, so it talks even slower and slower, and then do three words on, three words on, three words on, so that you take control over it. Take the voice from this side, move it to this side, move it to the back, move it to the front. Make it sound like Daffy Duck, uh, so that you begin to control your own internal neurology. It's a very bad habit that most people have that they just let their brain run on. It's like having a car with no steering wheel. Your job is to be in charge of your consciousness. That light that shines in the dark, right? That decides what you pay attention to and what you don't, right? Should be something you're in control of. And most people aren't. Their feelings jump all over the place and they make pictures. Sometimes they don't even see them. And you know, whether they're big and whether they're small, it's like anything else. You practice, practice, you get good at it. You know, if your internal dialogue is just jabbering on, right? Have it jabber on. You don't even have to change what it says. Change the tone of voice first. Make it sound like a oh, professor the cat, fucker and thuck attack. I'm an idiot, you know. You'll never be able to shut up. You'll never be able to shut up. And then make it get really loud and then get it quieter. And then have it do three words and three spaces and three words till you take control. It's like anything else. When you practice taking control of things, it's your brain. You're in charge of it. It's the one thing you could control more than anything is your thoughts. And you can't control them by suppressing them. You need to control them by controlling them. And it doesn't matter if, if you say really crappy things to yourself and they make you feel bad. Well, the first thing is, is change the way you feel, then keep saying the crappy shit, say it really loud, and then make it sound stupid as it is. And eventually, you'll get a little silence in there.